This is BBC World News. I'm Matthew Emery Waller. On today's Global, hope for millions of people who depend on Ukraine's grain to feed their families. The first shipment of grain sails out of Odessa five months after the start of the war. A Russian blockade of Black Sea ports has been in place since February. The hope is that hundreds of thousands of tonnes of produce, which has been piling up in warehouses, will now be able to leave. Also on today's programme, media outlets in Taiwan are reporting the US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will visit Taiwan on Tuesday, despite strong objections from China. And we have the extraordinary story of conjoined twins separated in a marathon surgery in Brazil. We hear from the surgeon who oversaw the operation. It's, it's a near impossible task um, that requires a lot of preparation, a lot of thinking, a lot of planning. And when the final execution happens and you end up with two live kids that are making a good recovery, it's a great experience. Rapturous reception in Trafalgar Square as England celebrate winning the Women's Euros. Hello and welcome to BBC News. The first ship carrying grain has left a Ukrainian port under a landmark deal between Ukraine, Russia, Turkey and the UN. It's hoped the agreement will ease the global food crisis and lower prices. Russia has been blockading Ukrainian ports since February, but the two sides agreed a deal to resume shipments. Well, the vessel is carrying 26,000 tonnes of corn and will need to go through checks in Turkey, then dock in Lebanon later this week. Further shipments are planned over the coming weeks. Well, our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse uh, uh, saw that ship leave from Odessa. This is a single ship going on a single journey. 